Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Daydon Tolbert, host of the Daydon Tolbert Show, which airs weeknights at 9. Winner of the 2010 AANBC Award for Best Talk Show. We've actually been picked up by 88.1 FM WPEB in Philadelphia, so we'll be in syndication coming in, going into the fall. Now, I want to talk to you in this video blog about, you know, the definition of a good woman. You know, I, I often hear... You know, just women in general talking about, I'm a great woman. I do this. I do that. And they really think that those things, which are often materialistic, they, you know, they think those things make them a great woman. And that's just not the case. So in this video blog, I want to truly define once and for all what a good woman is. And more importantly, what it's not. A lot of y'all think that just because you cook, you clean, you have a good job, you pay your own bills, you get your hair done, you get your nails done, you have good credit. You guys think those types of things make you a good woman. Now, those are great things and they can be icing on the cake when you're in a relationship, but when it comes to what men look for in a woman, they, you know, they don't they don't really mean too much because we'll take a woman with bad credit. We'll take a woman who doesn't necessarily cook every night. You know, that's not what we, you know, top of our list, oh, she has to have these certain things. Ladies, yeah, some of y'all think just because you're good sexually, that makes you a great woman. Just because you put it on your man, you know, all the men that you've been with in your past all come running back to you in a sexual manner. That's not, you know, that's not a good woman. Let me, in fact, it can often contribute to you being looked at as a not so good woman. Let me first tell you what the three things are that all men look for. And more importantly, the three things that truly define the core of a great woman. And we talk about these things literally every single night on the Day Don Tolbert Show. Definitely check it out. But first and foremost, ladies, y'all have to, you must have a great personality. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not just talking about an average person. You have to have a great personality. If you don't have a great personality, you will not be getting wiped up. Meaning, if you don't have the best personality that that man has ever been with, you know, he's going to keep looking for somebody else who has those those qualities. Now, second thing is, you know, and, and the, real quick on the personality, if you're not, you know, if you're having sex, you know, that often contributes to being emotionally unavailable, which contributes to being bitter, which contributes to having emotional baggage, which often messes up your personality and causes you to be overly negative and just, you know, unpleasant to be around. So, you know, we check out my video blogs on casual sex, on I mean, just on why so many successful black women are single, because the sex is a huge part of it, and it contributes to, you know, you being looked at as a not-so-good woman. Keep that in mind. Now, the second thing is the respectability factor, which is huge. Y'all have to understand that a lot of y'all are coming off in a way that would make you look like, you know, you're not, you know, you don't respect your body. You know, you're dating these guys, you, you know, you might go on two, three dates, maybe two weeks or whatever like that. You're letting them hit. So, I mean, that's cool. I'm not knocking what you do, but you have to understand in the eyes of men, good women don't give it up that quickly. So, again, I'm, you, you know, a lot of people say, why are you telling women what to do? I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you, if you want to be looked at as a good woman, as a great woman, as one of the elite women of the world, you will keep your legs closed. Now, a lot of women, they say things like, well, they don't, you know, I, you know, I'm single. I, I, what's wrong with having a little friend? It's nothing wrong with it, per se. But if you want a good man, if you want to be looked at as an emotionally available woman, which I'm about to get into, that's the third thing that really makes up a great woman is the emotional availability factor of it. 90% so of women out here are emotionally unavailable and y'all don't even realize it. That's why so many successful black women are single. You feel what I'm saying? And they're being looked at as not so good women. Women. Now understand, these black men, I'll break it down for you. We're looking for great women. All right? There are a lot of successful single men out here looking to get married, looking for the great women of the world. You know, they're going to look for the women who are emotionally available for them to commit to. A lot of y'all are having friends with benefits. You know, you're having this casual sex. You're bitter from a past breakup, a past heartbreak. You know, you might even be dealing with a death in the family. You know, these things all contribute to you being emotionally unavailable, meaning we want 100% of your emotions. If, you know, if a heartbreak from the past still has 
thirty percent of your 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 emotions, that means you're not fully there for us. So we don't want you. We're never gonna be like she's an okay woman. But now the trick is the problem is a lot of these women who are emotionally unavailable. They have the nice jobs. They have the nice cars. You know, they drive the BMWs. They got the real Gucci bag. They get their hair done every week. They're looked at as, quote, unquote, great women by other women and by, you know, these average men. But elite men, they have their own set of guidelines for what makes up a great woman. So, you know, just keep the, these three things in mind. Again, a great personality. A high level of respectability. And let me just, I don't want to overlook that because I talked about the sexual aspect of, but just in how you dress, ladies, you can't be looked at as a respectable woman if every Friday night you go out with these freakum dresses on that are two sizes too small. You know, your whole chest is out. Y'all know what you, you know, you might be a C or D cup and you think it's cool to rock, you know, the cleavage shirts that come all the way down to there. You know, and you know your breasts are a certain size. You can't wear those type of shirts and be looked at as a respectable woman. It's going to look like, okay, she's looking for attention. She doesn't respect her body. She's trying to get knocked off tonight. That's how men talk. That's how men think, whether you agree with it or not. So a lot of you are walking around here saying, I'm, you know, I'm a good woman. I'm a great woman. But these men are looking at you like, hold up. Look at how you dressing. Look at how fast you're having sex. You know, a lot of y'all have conversations. Some of y'all say things like, oh, well, you know, he's got to be a certain size for me to do this. That makes it look like you're a freak, you know, who, who's, who's sex, you know, is, is where it's a main priority for you. That's, you know, respectable women don't talk like that. Now, they talk like that in private with their man, but you're not going to, like Chili, you know, look at this show. I did a whole video blog on what Chili wants. And, you know, this stuff is not, you know, I don't, I'm not judging anybody, but I'm just telling you what it is that black men look for when determining what a good woman is, what a great woman is, and more importantly, what a not so good woman is. So again, great personality, high level of respectability, and that emotional availability, in my opinion, is the number one reason why so many successful black women are single. That's caused by casual sex. It's caused by friends with benefits. It's caused by heartbreak, being in love with an ex-boyfriend. Nobody wants to deal with another man's baggage. You know what I mean? If another man has your heart, we don't want you, period, point blank. We'll have sex with you, but we will not wipe you up. So really just think about these things. And I talk about this stuff every night on the Day Don Tolbert Show. Check me out weeknights at 9 by logging on to daydontolbert.com. Peace.